Hello everybody, welcome back to some control. Picking up where we left off, I think we're supposed to check the sector elevator. And then there was a Don't thing that I'm... This Darkness now. engulfed the elevator. Oh, Alan Wake. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Vaden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Vaden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star. And the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Vaden paused to feel it the force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle, trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss, so it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away and made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man, a man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark, not unlike the hostile resonance, waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator doors slid shut with practice bravado. So I wonder then, is this... There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. There was a distress call. I mean, there isn't Faden a new the investigation there. sector thing. So that's weird. Unless it didn't matter what I just chose there and it was going to send me anyway. I mean, I investigated it. I don't I don't know. But anyway, the reason I wanted to come back to containment is cuz apparently there was only one more wall that I could break that I had missed. And I knew it was right there, so I figured I would come and check it out. It's weird that these are hidden, but they don't count as hidden areas. Like, they, like I don't get skill points for finding them. Hmm. Okay, weird. Anyway. I thought I'd do that, and then we were... I still don't know why it's... I'm assuming that that has something to do with Alone in the Dark. Maybe the button was on the other side of the elevator or something, I don't know. We'll check it out in a minute, but I did also, since we've changed chapters, I did... Oh, you know, we still haven't opened up that door. That's not the right thing. Uh, oops. We really not being in there, man. Eh, no, whatever. Um, but yeah, I wanted to check. Oh wait, this isn't even where I wanted to go. I clicked on the wrong maintenance one. Oh, drop a launch object without throwing it by pressing X. You know how... Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there an elevator that led out, like, almost directly into the, uh... Like, not almost directly, I guess, but, like... Sector, sector access corridor. I mean, I could have swore that this one led out really close to the. To the gym? 
janitor's room. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering how far away it is. Because, yeah, it does seem like I'm getting... Like, I... Yeah. I guess I just forgot how far away it was. I guess it also would have been fast if it... Yeah. Right, I think that's how I got here last time. Okay. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Shall be mine. Alright. Because, yeah, I think the last time I came here, I just fast traveled to ventilation. I didn't take the elevator. That's why. I thought it was weird how far away I was. This is his office, right? Hey, he does have a new assignment for me. What a mess even more. more. of it. This thing is completely living from the mitten. Perkele. Satana. Helvetin helvetti. Oma tuossa ja tällaista paskaa. This way then. Yes, so. So now when it says even more mold, is this the, uh, like, the mold mold, or, because we're in the coolant pumps, so is it, like, the mold that we had to take the pill for, or is it the weird goop monster that was down there? Hey. Why? Isn't, is there not a button? There it is. I was like, is there not a button to call it back up? There we go. I mean, I don't trust it now because I don't know why it would have went down by itself like that. I guess kind of makes sense because I think once the elevator door closes, I don't. Yeah, it takes away my gun, so that makes sense. Alright. <sighs> See what we got to deal with now. Oh, you know what? There was... Now that I remember... There was a door up here or something, was there not? That I couldn't... That I couldn't go through? You know, if you're gonna give me a reticle, you might want to make sure that... Uh, the bullets actually travel within the reticle because, you know, you're like, hey, it'll hit anywhere in this square, and then I can clearly see the bullets missing the target entirely. Oh, goody. Just find these guys up here. The mold's gotten in here, too? Get cleaning, she said, her gun. Oh, you dirty fucking assholes. I hate those guys. Their fucking grenades do so much damage as well. I 
Ow. Alright. Rick. Look more different. God, I was really hoping more health had landed up here. Seems like most of it fell all the way down, and I don't want to go down there because if I do, there's a decent chance that. That when I come back up, it'll just respawn more enemies, because this game's real prick like that. Yeah, that's right, that just leads into there. The other door, and the door that I remember I do believe is on the other side. Oh right, I do actually need to... Uh, I guess it might have still opened up that door for me. Maybe, hopefully. Gotta say, in a game that gives you levitate, most of the time, like, Having rooms with a lot of verticality is, like, awesome. But in this game, it's kind of a pain in the ass just because of the way the enemies are and spawn, you know? Because, I mean, the fact, like, the amount of them that will, like, well, here's the thing, right? The rocket launcher guys being your standard, like, the heat-seeking rocket launcher guys being one of the standard enemies makes rooms with any kind of, like, like large space or verticality to them horrid. Because it's like... I don't know, the door's still locked. Still don't know what's over there, though. I mean, it doesn't have, like, the question marks or anything that usually indicates it that it's going to be important, but still. Um... But yeah, like, the, like those guys by themselves being one, because like, I mean, you have the, you have the floaty guys that explode that are kind of annoying, but I mean, even in like a big room, you know, you can see them coming, you can generally pop them because they are low enough health that it's not too, too bad. I mean, I guess we can see where the, the mold came from, not that I can get anywhere near up high enough to... To do that, get in there. I mean, I might be able to get a little bit higher up because I can obviously jump up on there and go up. But, um, but yeah, because like those guys, and then you do have the guys that float and throw stuff at you, or float and then do the slam down on you, and they can be kind of annoying. The slam guys are way more annoying because they slam you; it does so much damage. And then they, like, immediately fly away. And they're usually mixed in with the explodey guys. So you may not immediately recognize which one. And because, you know, they don't die nearly as fast as the explodey guys. By the time you figure out uh, which one it is, the odds of you being able to, to kill them before... They uh, slam you again is almost nothing. Uh, and then, like, you know, you do have the guys in the chairs, but. But they're generally okay. Oh, apparently I even have a shatter mode quest. Guy freaking out over here.
Oh, it's one of these. I see. Don't like that that one spawned behind me. I guess, you know, they do enough damage that you get hit by one of them. You're not recovering quickly. Or at least not just from what they draw. Man, I was really hoping that the last one, I'm assuming there's only one more, is going to be on this side. Because, I mean, it's definitely got to be up here, right? Like... Like, I don't see mold any lower than here. Oh wait. That should slow it down. Barely see that one, but did see it. Oh, what is this? FBC Crisis Solution Task Force. Fifteen side missions. Fuck yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I could go through there, get to the furnace chamber, so that I could fast travel out. Uh, would that be... yeah, I think that would be faster. Alright, so we did... we got the last wall that we could break. Uh, we only had one maintenance thing, so I guess we'll... Well, first things first, is we'll check this and we'll just grab our last... Levitate. Uh, collect that. Try and get a... Stop giving me her strategic target. Okay, so we'll head back to Central Executive to see if we can figure out this elevator thing. Now, I don't know that this is the foundation DLC. Uh, I also don't know what the uh, what the jukebox is about. Good luck out there. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Oh, there's Pain pages there. A drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. You know what? I think... Because that seems like it's going to be important. I think I'm actually going to leave that for next part. Because uh, we also need to check the boardroom. I need to and the talk to these people to see if they control. have any more stuff. Like I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Okay. I have to go. 
Me too. So that gives You're us another only. side quest. I need the containment protocols for it. Wasn't actually thinking that they were gonna give me a side quest. I honestly just thought that they were going to uh maybe have a little bit more information for me. Uh, I guess we should go talk to Dylan as well. <laughs> See if he has anything new. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. Okay. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. So we got one in maintenance, one in containment. Uh, now the one that's in maintenance seems like it's going to be a pain, at least a little bit of a pain. Since, uh, they're spread out, whereas Tomasi should know, be a quick to get there, get out. Dylan, can we talk? I'd like to tell you about it dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jessie. Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are worn through time. The thunder still distorts you. Okay. Um. Yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Is there more? It's still red. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office and something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are worn through time. Oh, it's still red, though. 
Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Are you Not sure? As long as I'm alive. The oh, good God, there's still more? Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Why? You send the hiss to enough places, maybe one of them will have something that can easily take care of it. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I guess that's it for now then. Now he said that he was stuck in the corner watching, right? Like, was that? Thought maybe that was a clue that there's something in the corner, but I don't see anything. Oh well. All right, so I looked it up. It wasn't the Foundation DLC. The Foundation DLC is purely after you finish the game. Um, this is actually the AWE DLC. Uh, 
I looked up when you should play it. There seems to be kind of some debate about it. I mean, some say play it in the order it's released, which means finish the main game, then do the uh, uh, the turntable. I'm assuming this will take us to the Sterling, the Sterling AWE. Uh, let's see how actually how long have we been going? Because Dylan talked there for quite a while. So I think I'll end this part now. Next part we'll do the side missions that we got. We'll go and hunt down Tomasi. Because uh, that should let us into the Sterling AWE. Which is the last location that we haven't been to. And then I guess we'll head back to maintenance and hunt down the six rangers. Uh, hopefully. Or was it six... Including him. Anyway, I can't remember if he said six, five plus me, or if he said six plus me, but either way, uh, we'll head down to maintenance and see if we can find those guys, and that'll probably take all part. And then after that, I once again, I, I got mixed things about whether or not to do the AWE. DLC first. Apparently you get a new gun in it. Well, I guess it would be a new construct. Not a new gun. Because we can't have new weapons. Well, I mean, I guess it is technically new weapons. Um, but apparently it'll be harder. Because somebody is like, oh, I prefer to do it with like, all of the abilities unlocked, but I don't know that I oops that I have any other abilities to unlock I mean I guess there's definitely space like even because like it's like the description is there but I don't remember like before we got levitate was the description like where it says plus 10 percent unlock there was that there or was it over near like where levitate is now so like if that moved over we would have enough space for one more ability I would say uh yeah, I would say only one more ability. Plus, uh, you know, like the side upgrades. Or two without side upgrades, I guess. But I don't see that happening. Uh, so, yeah. I think we'll do, we'll do the side quests that we have in the main game. And then after that, we'll either start the AWE... Or, before I record that part, I'll look up the jukebox stuff and see exactly what it is it does and whether or not. Because I don't know if it'll be worth doing like a whole part on just the jukebox stuff or whether it's something that like... <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. Either way, that's it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you on Thursday for more.